How to boost mitochondrial ATP output. And that's where Blue Oak comes in. And that's why I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be an advisor to Sundeep and to this company and to Sonia and Monica and basically, you know, stand up here and put my reputation on the line for something I actually believe in because, you know, I'm a friggin' hard ass. Anybody knows me. Okay. You know, sh we have a saying at UCSF, in God we trust everybody else has to produce the data. Well, Sandeep's produced the data and the data is pretty remarkable in terms of how it works. And I'm going to let her, him explain to you how it works. And I'm specifically going to let Aaron talk about the clinical trial that he performed in patients with muscular dystrophy. The point is that this stuff, which is in, you know, it's, a, it's, it's in green tea, okay? And he'll, and Sandeep will explain how it works. It actually fixes, everybody know that um, ATP synthase, the um, uh, enzyme that makes ATP, manufactures ATP is a molecular motor. It spins both directions. When it spins clockwise, you make ATP. When you spins counterclockwise, you use up ATP. So you want to keep it in the clockwise direction. Well, there's a protein that sits on that ATP synthase, locking it in place, and epicatechin is the key that